What's up everyone, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today we're diving into an handy little tool called Looseless Scaling, available on Steam at just $8 Canadian. If you ever wish for a way to boost your gaming performance without compromising too much on image quality, this app might catch your attention. I've been using it for a bit and while I think it has some clear strength, uh, this review will take a closer look at its pros and cons and help you decide if it's worth adding to your setup. So let's talk about uh, the Looseless Skating, uh, what it actually does. Uh, unlike popular options like DLSS or FSR, which integrate directly into a game's code, Looseless Skating operates on a different level. Uh, it acts as a post-processing tool that scales your window game to a full screen using advanced scaling algorithm. Uh, this makes it versatile as you don't need specific game support, just run it on top of most games and it will do its thing. But the real highlight here is the LSFG 2.3 uh, update, uh, so the, the frame generation from the loose less scaling, which introduced a new X4 frame generation mode. This allows uh, it to generate up to three intermediate frames between each original frame, effectively boosting your frame rate significantly. So you could see a 2x, 3x, or even 4x boost in your FPS depending on your setting. Now, if you're familiar with uh, DLSS or FSR, you know that those tools work directly within the game codes and utilize motion vector to interpolate frames. Uh, they can add a frame between two render frames, giving a smooth experience without too much added latency. Looseless scaling approach is different since it doesn't work inside of the game codes. Instead, it operates after the game renders their frame, which means it doesn't get access to the same depth information. The post-processing method has its own strength and limitation. For an example, the added frame generation feature is a game changer if you're looking to push the FPS number higher, but you will need to be mindful of increased latency. Compared to Nvidia frame generation, you might notice a latency increase around 40 to 60%, and it's roughly double the latency of a game running natively without any scaling. To get the best experience with loose less scaling, it, I found that it's crucial to match your FPS uh, to your monitor refresh rate. Ideally, you want to cap your FPS at half of your display refresh rate. So for an example, if you have a 120Hz monitor, it's recommended to lock at your game at 60 FPS. This creates a smoother balance between performance and visual quality, ensuring that the scaling doesn't uh, introduce unwanted stutters. So now I'm going to show you how to set up looseless scanning for any game. And after that, we will continue with the review. So now how to use it. So it's pretty easy. You just go to Steam and the store, look for a looseless scaling. It will appear like if you have any uh, a game. You just play, press play, so now it will be open like this. And after that, what I recommend is just open your game that you need to do on Steam or other platform. When you did that, go back to your uh, looseless scaling and now you will do your setup. So I'm not going to talk about the scaling mode over there, just go with auto. You have also, also a couple of uh, scaling type that you can use, but it's not uh, the purpose of this video. Uh, I will be focused on the frame generation. So you have two options. The 1.1 is an old version and it takes less resources from your GPU. So if, if you have a really, really old, 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 old GPU, maybe test this one out, but for the rest uh, of us, just use the 2.3. After that, you have the three mode that I talked about, the X2, X3, X4. So my recommendation, if you want visual quality, go with X2. Uh, if you just want pure FPS and do multiply it by a uh, four, use the X4 as you can see over there. Also, you can activate the G-Sync support if you have a G-Sync screen, HDR also if you have HDR. So normally what you do, you set up this like that, you start your game or your game is already startup. And after that, you just press scale and it will work. I will not do the example uh, for now because the OBS can't uh, record the overlay when I do that, but normally you will see, uh, come down if your application is not open, so just open it or make sure it's already open. So th this is pretty much it. So I will continue my video and you will see some example in the background of games that I play with the loose less skating. 
All right, let's get into some example. Here you can see how the X4 frame generation mode works in practice. I tested it with the game running at 60 FPS and by enabling the frame generation, I was able to push the output to 120 FPS on a 120 Hertz monitor. The difference in the smoothness is very noticeable, especially in fast paced game where every uh, frame count. And if you're using an high refresh rate monitor, say for an example, 240 Hertz, the result can be even better as the app can make Maintain that fluidity while upscaling. One thing uh, to note is that Lucela scaling uses machine learning based proprietary scaling, which can provide better visual quality compared to traditional scaling methods. Uh, it's not quite on the same level as the LSS in terms of sharpness and clarity, but it's certainly a step up from older scaling techniques. The app also supports G-Sync, uh, which can help to, to minimize the uh, screen tearing dur during uh, those high FPS moments, giving a smoother visual experience overall. When it comes to image quality, you might occasionally notice some artifact and the visual can appear a bit blurry at time, depending on the game you're playing. Uh, however, this tool uh, excels in emulation scenarios like uh, with the Nintendo Switch or older games that lock at 60 FPS due uh, to the engine limitation. It allows you to boost this game up to 120. 20 FPS, resulting in smoother, more fluid gameplay. But like any tool, a lossless scaling isn't without its quirk. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed during my testing is that overlays like those from a game launcher or GPU software can interfere with the scaling process. It's best to disable these overlay when using the app to ensure smooth performance. Uh, it's a small thing, but it's something to keep in mind if you like to have your GPU stats on your display during gaming. And then uh, there's the added latency uh, we talked about earlier. If you're sensitive to input lag or play a lot of competitive game uh, where every millisecond count, uh, this might be a factor. While it's not a deal breaker for more casual gaming or single player experience, it's worth considering our content that responsiveness is to you. And also I feel like it's a lot better when you're playing with a gamepad compared to a mouse and a keyboard. So what's the final verdict on the uh, loose less skating? I have to say I'm pretty impressed uh, with what I, it can do, especially for an app uh, at this price point. For eight dollar, you get a flexible tool that can make a big difference in frame rates, even for older games that don't support more advanced upscaling method. Uh, it's a great addition for those uh, who's looking to maximize their setup without waiting to, for a native support in their favorite game. That said, it's not a perfect solution. Uh, the added latency might be noticeable for some, and uh, you will need to tweak a few settings to get the best result. But if you're uh, after a straightforward way to boost performance without diving too deep into your graphic setting, it's definitely worth a try. Uh, let me know what you think, drop your question and thought in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.